Get your presentations off to a great start with Keynote's 36 Apple Designed Themes. When you first launch Keynote, the Theme Chooser lets you choose a theme and slide size. Each theme contains a family of master slides with matching layouts, fonts, colors, and textures. When you create a new presentation, double-click to enter its title on the first slide. Click the New button in the toolbar to add more slides. To change the style of a new slide, click the Masters button in the toolbar, and then choose a different layout. For example, here's a photo layout with horizontal text at the bottom. Once a slide is created, it's easy to include your own photos and text. Slides usually have placeholder text, which you can double-click to change. The title text is usually at the top. Body text is often bulleted. Once again, you can double-click to change the placeholder text and hit the Return key to start a new line. To include more text in your layout, click the text box in the toolbar and drag the text box anywhere on the slide. To format it, just click and drag to highlight the text. And click on the Format Bar button to quickly access text controls. You can easily create bold, italic, or underlined text. With Keynote's easily customizable themes, you've always got the perfect starting point for your presentation. As your presentations become larger and more sophisticated, you'll need quick and easy ways to organize them. Keynote 08 includes several views for managing your slides. By default, your presentation is displayed in Navigator View, which shows a thumbnail on the left for each slide. This is useful for viewing slides with graphics or charts. Rearrange slides by dragging their thumbnails on the left. You can also group slides together. Just drag a slide to the right and it will indent as indicated by the blue triangle. Click on the black disclosure triangle towards the left of the parent slide to expand or collapse the group. To customize the size of your thumbnails, Go to the pop-up menu in the lower left corner. Small allows you to see more thumbnails at once, while large gives you bigger previews. Outline view allows you to preview your slide organization as text. Just click the View button in the toolbar and choose Outline. This view shows you the title and bullet points of each slide. You can reorder the bullet points by dragging their bullets. This is a quick way to edit the text of your slides. The light table view allows you to reorder your slides as if they were note cards spread across a table. Click the View button in the toolbar and select Light Table to enter Light Table View. Slides are arranged from left to right and numbered in order of appearance. In the Light Table view, you can add, delete, and rearrange your slides. To reorder, simply drag and drop a slide into another position. To edit a slide, double-click it and you'll return to either Outline or Navigator view, depending on which you used last. Keynote has many options to help you organize slides as your presentations grow. Keynote makes it easy for you to include your own photos, music, and movies in your presentations. Click the Media button in the toolbar to open the Media Browser. Adding music to your title slide is a great way to set the mood for your presentation. From the Audio tab, you can see all of your iTunes library, as well as your GarageBand songs. To add a song to your slideshow, simply drag and drop it onto a slide. In the QuickTime Inspector, you can trim the audio's start and end points, set it to loop, or adjust its volume. The next slide can use a custom photo. The Photos tab in the Media Browser 
lets you see your iPhoto library and photo albums. To add a photo to a slide, drag and drop it onto a placeholder image. To resize or reposition an image, double-click it and an edit mask window will appear. Use the slider to adjust size and drag the photo to adjust position. When satisfied, click the Edit Mask button to close the window. The Movies tab gives you access to QuickTime videos you have in your Movies folder or in iTunes. At the bottom of the Media Browser, you can preview a selected video by clicking the Play button or quickly search for a movie in the Text field. You can also add media to your slides by dragging and dropping from the Finder. Adjust an image's scale by dragging the corner of its bounding box. Drag the middle of the image to reposition it.